Michael Murpurgo wants us all to look up. You clever, kind eucalyptus mother. You were the first tree I ever knew, first tree I managed to climb. You have sheltered me and fed me, all I need, all I could want, my friend, my protector and provider. His new book is called My Heart Was a Tree and it features stories and poems about trees and what they mean to the world around us. But what's wonderful about the trees, as far as I'm concerned, is yeah, the trees themselves, of course, but it's the bird life. Um, that's, that's why I look at trees very often. It's because of what's just flown in or just flown out, something that has to attract the eye. You tell the seasons by the trees, basically, at least I do. We've been invited to the author's writing room. And this is where you actually yeah. do some of your writing. Yeah, absolutely, I do. It's uh, about three pillows, like that, and sit myself down. Legs up, and we go. When the phones ring or people come, no one can fight me, I'm here. And that's, that's wonderful for a writer, it's somewhere to hide away, I'm very lucky. Ash trees here, there's a cherry tree uh, right here with wonderful cherries on it just now, which, is, that, which is lovely. Yeah. One of the stories is called Our Tree of Hope, and it's about the ongoing war in Ukraine. We used to play in the park build our snowmen there, have picnics under our favourite tree, a weeping willow tree it was. Papa often called it our family tree. But then we had no park. We had craters instead. Then we had no tree. We had a wreck of a tree instead, a shattered, splintered trunk, a broken crown of golden twigs. Michael told me that this was an important story for him. I was born in the Second World War and I grew up just after it and I know what happens. Um, when war hits cities and kills people, then a great sadness descends on the place. Well, that happened all over this country. I grew up in the atmosphere of post-war London. So when, in my later years now, when I thought war was a far away thing, didn't come to our area at all, well, Europe is our area, you know? One of the reports was interviewing someone on the radio who was living in a basement, and you could hear in their voice what was going on in their hearts. And I thought, yes, tell the story. Michael hopes his book will help children to open their eyes to nature, to look up, to wonder and admire the trees around us.